The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past In a dreamlike sequence, the legend of the Triforce unfolds, showcasing the ancient tale of power, courage, and wisdom. A timeless battle between light and darkness plays out. Three pieces, embodying power, courage, and wisdom, unite to create the Triforce. A hero emerges, wielding the Master Sword, destined to protect the realm. A dark antagonist, seeking dominion over the Triforce's might, schemes to claim its power for selfish gains. The struggle between these forces shapes the destiny of Hyrule, foretelling a chosen child who will draw the Master Sword and bring balance. A voice pierces through. Hey, hey, wake up. Link's eyes open. As Navi the fairy wakes him, Link rubs his head. You're going to miss your morning duties. Navi's reminder jolts him into consciousness, telling him not to forget his lucky sword. Link heads out and meets other Kakiri children at the Deku Tree. Late as always, Link emerges while the morning song commences, and they're assigned their daily tasks. The other kids of the forest find him strange as he doesn't speak and push for Link to tackle the tough job of cutting grass, isolating him. Link is seen watching under his favorite tree as the other children play and laugh, seeking a place to fit in. After a grueling day, disheartened, as his eyes close under his favorite tree. Cut to Hyrule, Zelda's eyes open and she rushes around, seeking adventure without her father's guards. Disguised in white, she climbs down the secret path and enters town. She accidentally causes chaos, pursued by guards, she dives into a chicken coop. She's brought before her father, who, urged by Ganondorf, restricts her to the castle. Ganondorf emphasizes a prophecy about the chosen child wielding the Master Sword and bringing power through the Triforce, reminding that Zelda is that child. Distraught, Zelda is led to her chamber. Meanwhile, a curious scene unfolds as Ganondorf stands before the Master Sword, engaged in an eerie dialogue. Within the blade, an imprisoned malevolence yearns for freedom, its sinister whispers seeking release, and that the time is near. Zelda plays her harp and sings about being free, yearning to explore alone. Emotional, she runs out, heading into the woods. At the same time, Link, atop his tree, converses with it about finding his place. Both run towards each other and bump into each other. Link listens as Zelda expresses herself, wanting to be free, wisely talking herself into returning. As she runs, she drops her Triforce necklace. Link goes to sleep, feeling encouraged by Zelda to find his courage. Link wakes with energy ready to speak to the Deku Tree. Upon seeing Link's bracelet, the Deku Tree advises him that it's time to find himself. His quest must start at the Lost Woods, suggesting answers lie within, despite the journey taking several years. As Link and Navi navigate the labyrinthine expanse of the Lost Woods, they sit and find warmth under a campfire playing his favorite lullaby. The ethereal surroundings trigger a profound awakening within Link's memories. Visions of his past cascade through his mind, revealing a poignant tale. In the flashback, Link witnesses his mother's fateful journey into the heart of the forest. She sought solace from the ancient being known as the Great Deku Tree, who proclaimed that only children and chosen ones could enter this sacred realm. Pleading for guidance and protection for her son, she beseeched the tree's aid. The benevolent Deku Tree agreed, and as Link's mother departed, she blossoms into a tree, becoming the very sanctuary where Link found solace throughout his childhood. Unbeknownst to him, Link sought refuge under the comforting embrace of his mother's spirit, unknowingly conversing, shedding tears, and seeking shelter beside the tree that had grown from her essence. Though good and bad, little did he realize, this tree was his mother, a constant presence throughout his life. A poignant moment unravels as a scene materializes, depicting one of the branches of this sacred tree being the wooden sword Link carries as a protective talisman. As Link snaps back into reality, he's full of anger and emotions run as the Lost Woods, shrouded in mystical allure, manifests an apparition of Link's darker, malevolent side, poised with hate and anger asking Link to not let go of his past, and for him to grow darker with emotion. Link then rejects these emotions as this dark Link decides to strike. As he closes his eyes waiting for the attack, he opens his eyes to find a warm pink-haired figure resembling his mother. She says, I've missed you Link but I'm always here. Overwhelmed with emotion, Link rushes forward to embrace the vision of his mother, shouting his first words, Mum. Emerging from the woods, the tender reunion fades as Link transforms into a young man, setting forth toward Kakariko village, driven by a quest to unearth the enigmatic truths of his past. 